Okay, hello, this is Dr. Janes, and today I'm going to talk about um, how to uh, configure your Raspberry Pi using Ethernet to talk uh, Wi-Fi. Now, I actually had a Raspberry Pi on a robot that I was working on, and I had changed the router, the router died, and I had it all set up so it would auto-configure, auto-boot up, so I wouldn't have to uh, tell it to, you know, connect to the Wi-Fi. It would just do it on its own. And uh, so now I have a different router with a different name and a different password. And so I'm going to show you how to go in and set this up and configure that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at our Raspberry Pi. And here's our Raspberry Pi. And we need to uh, use the Ethernet cable. We're going to Hook that in here, and uh, actually, let's first let's first plug this guy in. So we have a it takes a micro USB for the power and that goes in here. Okay, so we're going to plug the micro USB. Okay, and we plug that guy in. We'll get a bunch of blinking lights up here. And that tells you that the system is booting up. And we plug this guy in here. This is a Raspberry Pi 1 by also. A uh, bunch of yellow lights come on up here to show that the Ethernet is hooked in. So we're hooking that Ethernet into our router. Here's our Wi Fi dongle. And if you look very closely there, that guy's starting to blink as well. So we did have it set up, but it's, it's set up incorrectly now. And so, we have the power connected here. Here's our SD card, the uh, startup disk on it, basically. And looks like we're all set to go. So, the first thing we got to do is we're not sure uh, if you're not sure exactly what the IP address of this guy is. We got to find out what that is. And the easiest way to do that is to go into your router which is usually at 192, let's just type this in, 192.168.192.168.11. Okay, and that's where the router is typically located at. And uh, my router is called admin. And type in your password. And I don't like to save my passwords on the computer, so let's take a look down through our different devices. And here's the Raspberry Pi 192.168.115. Okay, so. What we're going to do is we're going to start up a new terminal window. And wait for it to get going. We're going to type putty. So we're going to use putty to um, connect to our Raspberry Pi. And then some people call this running uh, headless, so uh, there's no monitor hooked up to the Raspberry Pi. We're just uh, we are connecting to it through the computer, and we'll type in our IP address 192.168.1.15, and uh, the SSH typically comes in through port number 22, so we'll leave that, and uh, here we open up the putty window, okay, so we had a few technical difficulties here, I tried to figure out what the problem was, I changed out the Raspberry Pi, it didn't seem to be the problem, I rebooted the uh, router, and uh, came back up and it 
looks like the router has actually reassigned the Raspberry Pi to uh, 192.168.116 and so we'll try that it was working a second ago so we'll try it again let's put it in here 192.168.116 so I don't know the router picked up a flutter or something who knows okay okay so we're gonna say it's asking for the key We'll say uh, accept, okay, and log in as Pi, and password is Raspberry. Oops. Two R's, Raspberry. Okay. So that's the standard login. And so what we're going to do is we're going to um, the setup files are are held in a couple different places. Um, for the static setup, it is a uh, Pseudo, sorry, let's move this over to the middle of the screen a little bit more. Pseudo nano, pseudo, so pseudo gives it super user power. Nano is the, uh, the text editor that we use for this. Actually, let me see if it's, okay. So, yeah, so this is a uh, pseudo nano network interface. So let's take a look at this guy. So this guy here has our our settings and uh, here's our uh, Wi-Fi, the old Wi-Fi name and we're going to change this one to our new name so you have to have a file that's uh, got this this name here and uh, you're going to put your name of your Wi-Fi router into here. That's the name of mine and the password is different and I'll oh, I'll cut that a portion out and then we will save let's see and control X to save it yes okay and so we've modified that particular file and the other file that you have to set up okay so we've modified that first one to put our uh, First file, the exact network uh, interfaces, and I'll, I'll put some. Of the, I'll put these uh, paths down in the uh, con or the, the uh, explanation section right below the video. And uh, the second thing that we need to make sure is modified is uh, this one. So, uh, exact uh, WPA supplicant, WPA supplicant config. Okay, and so we're gonna edit that one and we need to have these uh, lines in there like if you're going to set it up for static then uh, you would you would put the other information in here I've seen that configured that way on the internet in some places but uh, to have it automatically boot up and run this this uh, this has got to be typed into this guy and saved uh, C C T R L underscore interface equals dir equals uh, slash bear slash uh, run slash WPA supplicant group and then uh, update configure one so you get this file set up and it will run that other thing the WPA supplicant and uh, get your Wi-Fi set up automatically so if you want to build a robot or or uh, do some other neat stuff and have the, the uh, 
Raspberry Pi boot up and talk over the Wi-Fi by itself, then uh, this is the way you do it. And uh, I guess that's uh, all I have for now. Hopefully we'll have a robot up and running soon. This is Dr. Jane signing out. Good luck with the Raspberry Pi, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, we have our Raspberry Pi here, and so let's uh, disconnect the Ethernet. Okay, and so now all the lights are out over here, so the Ethernet is unconnected. So then we will check to see, make sure that we can uh, talk to it through Wi-Fi. Okay, so um, we. Uh, Let's take a look down here. We disconnected the Ethernet, so the Ethernet is no longer connected. And the Wi-Fi is blinking. And we uh, removed the power cord and replugged it back in. The system booted up. And so now when we go to the Verizon uh, router, there's a new host. Uh, New host 5, it's wireless, and it's uh, under IP address 192.168.1.17. And so it says there's a brand new host there. And if we uh, go here and we try pinging it, it's uh, pinging it okay. I get out of this by Control Z. And uh, I actually put a web server on that. And so, we'll just check to make sure that that is the correct Raspberry, Raspberry Pi device. So it's, uh, here's, here's my web page that I put onto it. It says it works. So that's the only device that's got that web page. And so it looks like we're talking to it wirelessly now. Okay, so anyway, this is Dr. James. Thanks for watching. See you next time.